First thing you notice about this house is the front door. They're by Bliss Noram. They're metal doors with lots of glazing. They were donated because there's no way we could ever have afforded them. They give an industrial edge to a house which has a kind of Ontario farmhouse vibe. They let in lots of light and they make a bold statement. More than anything, this house is about space, air and light. When you walk in and you see all the sight lines, the dining room, the great room, onto the library and upstairs to the balcony, overlooking the first floor, you feel that euphoric sense of space. We tried to keep the shell of the house all one color. This color is by Bear. It's called Antique White and works beautifully with our pale oak floors. What do you think of this? This is my statement for the front hall because it's one of my favorite colors this year. It's a Dury and this wonderful acid green and you're going to find this color picked up throughout the house. In fact, there are lots of themes in this house that repeat over and over again. There's this worn wood, which we see in different shades throughout the house. There's bold art, often in black and white. And as we move into the great room, you can see the color scheme of charcoal gray cream with warm woods that you'll see repeated in each room of the house. The living room has a vibe that I love because it mixes the contemporary feeling of lightness and air with some traditional elements that give weight to the room, which you really need when you're dealing with a double height room like this. We actually took a Ralph Lauren classic sofa and we reupholstered the seat in a tufted bench style because that's very current with two complimentary armchairs sitting on this rug which was so inexpensive it was from West Elm it has that diamond iCat design and the ottomans to match are witty and then in the middle there's this custom walnut live edge table you know live edge means that the edge is natural. And then on the fireplace wall, I love the way we didn't do too much. We kept the fireplace screen smaller than the wood-burning fireplace. We did simple elements like birch logs in a beautiful woven basket, a pair of uh, CB2 lamps, and I love these benches on either side of the fireplace because they're so simple. Love the drapes. These are woven, they're linen, and they have a stripe pattern which we used horizontally. We've been doing that a lot lately because it gives a more modern feeling. And notice how the rods are hung a bit higher than the doors because it helps give a feeling of height. And how the doors throughout the house are painted Benjamin Moore Blackjack, which is a favorite color because it's kind of an off black. This is a good moment here. This is a linen wrap chest from Cocoon. It has brushed iron nail heads. We put a glass top on it to make it more practical and we married it with this hammered iron mirror. And this is a cool lamp because the base is actually wood, but it's painted in a matte finish, so you feel like it could be tin. And of course, the nano wall, one of the features of the house, it opens up completely and lets the garden feel like part of the interior living space. Of course, the reason this looks so fantastic is because we had a great architectural designer Ray Murakami. Our landscape architect, Ron Holbrook, gave us a beautiful vista, and the garden was installed by Koivat Construction. Central Fairbank Lumber gave us the decking material. There were so many suppliers to this house who were so generous and made it possible for us to do an amazing feat. Mm -hmm.